When a broken bone or fracture occurs, the body leaps into action to begin the healing process. When the bone breaks, it bleeds. The blood collects and forms a mass of blood known as a hematoma. The hematoma is rich in cells that are capable of growing new cartilage and bone. These cells set to work building a callus that bridges across the fracture site to hold the bone fragments together. The callus is at first more cartilage than bone. It is known as a soft callus. This soft callus gradually begins to fill with bone, evolving into a more stable, hard callus. After the hard callus has formed, the bone may not look like it did before the fracture. It may look slightly crooked. It probably has a large, bony callus. Over months and even years, the bone begins to remodel based on the stresses it is exposed to. Remodeling allows the bone to take on a shape similar to its original shape. Problems can occur to disrupt appropriate fracture healing. Displacement. If the ends of the fracture fragments are pushed apart, a callus cannot form between them and they cannot heal appropriately. This is why displaced fractures need to be reduced or set. Instability. If there is too much motion at the fracture site, the rigid bony callus cannot set up. This may result in a fibrous non-union, meaning that a soft callus is able to bridge the fragments together, but it never heals because a hard callus cannot form. This is why fractures often need to be immobilized with casts, splints, or surgical fixation. Poor blood supply. If the blood supply to the fracture site is poor, there may not be enough of the cells present that carry the tools necessary to build the callus. This can result in a non-union, meaning that the fracture never forms a strong callus and does not heal. Certain bones in the body are known to have vulnerable blood supplies. Fractures in these bones are treated with extra caution.